Hi guys, my name is Luke and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply the halftime effect in Ableton Live. This effect is used in trap music to give melodies a dark and drugged out feel. Used by producers like Southside of 808 Mafia and London on the track. This effect is easily done in FL Studio due to the availability of Grow Speed, which has a half speed preset. Here's an example of producer London on the track applying this effect to Drake's sneaking in a genius video. Started off with a guitar. I thought that was dope. It just sounded like some horror sounding, scary movie type stuff. And then I just half speeded it. So then it came on like this. Gross speed it is what we call it. To producers that's watching, they know what that is. So in that video, you can see London on a track applied this effect to a guitar riff. But in this tutorial, I'm going to use a loop from MJ Nicholas's uh, Melody Care Package. So there are two ways to do this effect. The first way is to use a VST called Shaper Box. Now, I'm just gonna pull this sample down to this channel here, which I've made, as you can tell, with a VST. So I'm just going to go to my plugins, go to VST, custom, and shaper box is. So I'm going to pull this in, drag it up, and shaper box is from Cable Guys. It's a relatively cheap plugin, and I think it's really worth it. It has a lot more effects, but that's for another video. So I'm going to click time. And you can see it's uh, very uh, similar to Grossbeat. Has a line here and it shows all the time times you can go down. So if you go down to pitch and go down to pitch down one octave, what this is going to do is basically do the same thing you saw in the London on the track video. It's going to half speed it and pitch it down one octave. So I'll let you hear it. So the second way I'm going to show you how to apply the halftime speed effect is actually within Ableton. So this is for people who maybe want to stick inside Ableton, don't use any other VSTs or don't have the availability to buy Shaperbox, which is totally understandable. So I'm going to go to my sample again, but this uh, way takes a bit more effort. So, but it's quite simple. So you have to check the BPM. This is 117. So I'm going to copy this down. And what I found is easier is what you do is press Command J if you're on Mac. And if you're on Windows, I'm not sure of the command, but what you're doing is basically using the consolidate function. So this just puts it down to your tempo. So I'm gonna do this again because I'd like to put it up to 155 maybe. Drag it down, consolidate it again. Make sure it's on complex because it sounds the best. Consolidate, and there you have it. So our segment is now in 155 BPM and hopefully in time. Okay, so how you do this is you come down here and underneath it is half original tempo as you can see or double the original tempo. What you want to do is double it. So you're just going to go ahead and press times two. And what this is going to do is it's going to stretch it out to double the speed. So now it's 310 BPM, which is double 155. So you can hear it now. But it doesn't really sound like half speed. So what we're going to do to get it to half speed is go down to this function here and press repitch. And it'll sound very um, similar to what we did with Shaper Box. So, as you can tell, the same effect, but as you heard with the Shaper Box version and in Grow Speed, it cuts every one bar, so it has this effect. You 
you can go along and basically take out certain sections to make it a what is it, a bar long. So you take one bar out. So basically it goes along and it skips one bar and it gives it that kind of skipped effect. I don't know how to describe it, but you can tell from, I'll, basically what I'll do is I'll do it over here. So this, it's, it's actually double the length now, but what we want to do is take out every second part to give it the same kind of grow speed and shaper box effect. So I'm going to do delete this, go along here, and basically drag these segments back to give it the same exact effect that shaper box and grow speed does. So it should sound the exact same. <laughs> So as you can tell, it's doing the exact same effect, but again, we have some clicks. So as I've described before, go along, D-click, five periodic clicks, freeze it down. And there we have it, some perfect half-speed audio. So that's it for this uh, video, hope this quick tip will help you uh, make your melody sound a bit darker and a bit more drugged out. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this effect I've been, I've been looking for since I started making beats and I've only kind of discovered Shaperbox and how to do it in Ableton the last, in the last few months. So I said I'd definitely share it with uh, some other people because uh, I've uh, talked to other producers and they asked me how to do, I do, how to do, how to do halftime in Ableton Live. So um, I hope uh, it helped you out. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. See you now.